it just felt bigger than all of us. You know, everyone on set, there was just no ego. You mentioned Help, which is incredible. And you're starring opposite Stephen Graham, your mentor, and you're playing a care worker. Yeah. Um, in a care home at the yes. start of the pandemic. Yeah. And Stephen Graham is playing a patient who yeah. you're looking after. Was it safe, like? Where's your mask? I didn't know we needed to wear them. <laughs> that in itself sounds like such a difficult thing to mm. have filmed. But luckily for you, you did it in your hometown of Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And home is so important to you, mm. isn't it? Yeah. What does home mean to you? Safety is like a is like flashing at my head really big right now with like red lights. I just go back and nothing changes, you know? It's, and, and, and that's, that's who know me, me best. And it was so lovely um, filming in Liverpool. And it was great because I, I got to take all my mum's dinners in with me. But yeah, it was incredible. Like it was, a, it was quite a short shoot, you know, it was six weeks. It was like, we started filming, I think it was in like, we'd literally just gone into like the third lockdown. Mm. So it was very surreal. Like the the story starts before the pandemic, and then when the pandemic hits, so it was really strange, kind of playing out these events that were so recent, and also that we were still kind of living in, mm. and also just you know being able to speak to carers and for them to be have been so honest with me and kind of give me their accounts and and Stephen does these roles all the time, which is why I also love him so much is because they're important. They're saying mm. something and they're being loud and, and they're uncomfortable. And it just felt bigger than all of us. You know, everyone on set, there was just no ego. And this thing was so kind of delicate to us all and everybody cared so much. When it comes to taking on a role like that, mm. like it must weigh on you quite a lot. How do you make sure you don't take it home it with you and take it on is it quite a difficult thing for you to let go of at times? It's my mum actually who was like, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to have a conversation with you, and you're just not, you're not listening, not you're not, you're not giving me anything, and so I, it's, it's my family that get the brunt of it, mm. you know, because it's, it's just that I'm, my head's in a completely different space. So what I do now, even if I have like a night shoot, like I'm killing you, like if we wrap at one, I get a boiling, I get a like boiling pipe and hot shower. That's kind of like my rinse in the day off, relaxing myself, kind of just stepping out of it. And even just something simple like that, just like doing something for myself, like r putting some cream on before bed or like just something that is really soothing, it really helps me. All about having a little, self-care base. Yeah, having a little ritual mm. has actually been like, has, has made a huge difference in going, okay, I know when I'm gonna do this stuff, I mightn't feel any different, but what I'm giving other people is gonna be a little bit off, you know? Yeah, totally. Yeah, and that's okay, but just try and be wary of mm. it.